Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited about this one. So this video is a collaboration with the lovely Beauty Matters by Beth um, and it's Disney, as you can probably already tell. So these are the gorgeous nails that she created and I'll pop the link to her video in the description box so make sure you go and check that out. And these are the nails that I created and if you'd like to know how to make these then keep watching this video. So to start off with I'm just cleansing the tips. I found that if you don't do this sometimes the gel um, shrinks and you're left with sort of like little holes in the gel which is really annoying. So just cleanse it until it all goes matte and then your gel should apply perfectly. So I'm just going in with two coats of Plain Jane from Magpie Beauty and then cleansing the tacky layer off of that as well. And then what I'm going to do is go in with a pencil and just roughly sketch out the character that I'm doing. So this one is going to be Mrs. Potts. Um, I always find it easier because if you go straight in with the gel, it's just so easy to you know not get the proportions right and things like that. So always go in with the pencil first. And next I'm going in with Uma Days. I don't really have a particular way of doing characters. It's not like I do the outline first and then the, the features are just sort of go with whatever I think. And then what I've done here is I've got the White Gel Paint Plus from Magpie as well and I've put a tiny, tiny bit of black in it just to make it this really light grey colour. Um, I didn't want to use just plain black because I thought that would look a bit too harsh. I wanted it to still be quite a light set. Um, so yeah, I just wanted a really light grey colour. And when you are doing these outlines, you don't have to be perfect. You can see there I've, I've sort of done one swipe and then I wanted it a bit further down. So I've done just done the swipe again. Just keep going over it until you feel like you've got it right. Um, because afterwards you can go back in with another brush like I'm doing here. I've got a little bit of prep and dehydrate or alcohol or IPA or whatever you're using. And you can just use that to remove the lines that you didn't like. And you can also use it to make the line a bit thinner. So if you've got quite a thick line, you can just go in with this brush with a bit of alcohol on it and it will just give you that really crisp, smooth line. So that's a really good tip I've found. So next off, I'm going in with the black gel paint from Magpie and just doing the pupils. Um, like I said, you can do this first. Some people like to get the pupils right and then do the outline of the eye and all the other stuff. But I just sort of make it up as I go along, to be honest. There's no particular way, best way of doing it. It's just whatever works for you. And then here as well, it's not showing up very well on camera, but the photo that I was using as a reference, um, it had a bit of blue at the bottom. So I just put a bit of um, Midnight Sky at the bottom of that black just to give it a bit more depth. And then I'll cure that and then I'm going in with the white gel paint just to make the is it pupils, the white bits anyway, the little highlights. <laughs> um, and then here for the mouth, I think I mixed, oh god this is going really fast, sorry, I, I was conscious about making it too long, now it's too fast, I can't keep up. So the mouth was Mona Lisa and Water Melanie, I mixed them two together to make that. And then the eyelashes here are just plain jack. Jack Plain Black Gel Paint. Now this one was perfect, it worked like the first time. That's why I haven't recorded the other eye because it took me ages. I did it and then I kept rubbing it out and it just didn't look right, but I got there in the end. So just perseverance, It's although they look great at the end, it does take a long time to get there. So don't worry if you have to keep rubbing it out and doing it again. So um, again there, I just went with a little bit of black just to outline the eyes. And then here I'm going in with Crown Jewels, just on, I should have mentioned the brush, it's the detailer brush from Magpie. Everything in this video is Magpie. Um, and I'm just doing the, the little frills that are on the, the lid of Mrs. Potts. So again here I've gone in with Uma Days and filled in around the crown jewels. Oh, that sounds really dodgy, doesn't it? <laughs> um, anyway, uh, but later on in the photos you might see that the purple looks a bit different. Um, I kind of regret it now, I should have kept it with Uma Days, but I did 
change it and add Dizzy Lizzy because I thought from the photo I was using it just looked a bit more vibrant. Um, kind of regret it now because I think it looks softer with Uma Days but anyway that's why it looks a bit different in the end photos. And then just there as well I just go in with a tiny tiny amount of the black gel paint just to get her double chin in. And then I'm going in with a thicker layer and doing the eyebrows. So it's all just trial and error really. Um, you just need to make sure you've got a photo for reference all the time, otherwise it's imp I can't do anything unless I've got a photo in front of me. So just keep looking back and forth and just adjusting little bits until you're happy really. So now I'm doing this design on the index finger and the pinky. So there I went in with two coats of Dizzy Lizzy, cured that and removed the tacky layer and now I'm going in with, oh what was it, I think I did a mix again, I think yeah I did, I mixed a bit of cotton candy and jumping for joy, um, make that into a little, sort of like a little oval shape, um, if you have a look at a photo of Mrs Potts it's the pattern that's on the base um, of her and also on Chip. And then the blue colour is not on my Nelly. So I just did that either side. I did two coats of everything, cured it, and then I went in with the black gel paint and just outlined those as well. So then I went in with the velvet top, top coat. Um, I did all the nails matte as well. And this is what it looks like after it's cured. Um, now afterwards, and after I put it next to Mrs Potts and Chip, I just felt like it was missing something. So I've gone in here again with crown jewels and just done a little gold cuff, and then I quickly matte top coated that as well. So next up we're doing Chip, again the same procedure, going in with a pencil. Um, you can go in with a bit of prep and dehydrate and just remove any lines if you're not happy. Um, but again, you can paint over it with gel. And then once you wipe over with any alcohol or anything, it gets rid of the pencil lines anyway. So it's up to you how you want to do it. So now I'm going in again with crown jewels and just doing the little gold details. Like I said, it doesn't really matter what order you do it in. Um, if you wanted to start off with the eyes and the nose and things first and then do the outline. Or if you wanted to start with the more decorative bits, it's, it's totally up to you how you want to do it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going in with that again and doing the little details. And then after that, I think I'm using, oh, what did I use? Cotton candy again, maybe with a bit of Mona Lisa in it, just to make it a bit darker. And then I went in with Mona Lisa with a tiny bit of black gel paint in to make this deeper red. I'm really sorry with the colours. I do tend to just sort of mix a load together until I get the colour that I want. So it might be a bit hard to recreate, but I don't really think about the fact that I'm recording it and I'm going to have to tell everyone what colour I use. I just sort of <laughs> smash them all together. And then here I'm going in with that light grey again that we used on Mrs Potts which is just a mixture of white gel paint with a little bit of black gel paint in and just outlining the chip um, and well the outline, the eyes, um, all the little bits I just need to stand out a little bit more to give it a bit of shape. And then going in with the black gel paint again to do the pupil. Um, it's really important as well when you're doing character nails. As soon as you're happy with, even if it's the tiniest line ever, cure it. Get that cured because otherwise you get carried away doing other bits and you knock it and then you can never get it right again. So it takes forever but as soon as you're happy with something, cure it, get it secured. Um, so then I forgot to record the first bit of this but again I just went in with the same colours as I did on the other design so the cotton candy and jumping for joy mixture and not on my Nelly and then did those little chevron style designs on the base and then I surrounded it with Dizzy Lizzy again and then here I'm just going in with a bit of black and just outlining a few little bits you don't need to outline everything just the bits you want to stand out a little bit more
myself with a matte top coat. I wasn't 100% happy with it, there's definitely things I would have changed, but we live and learn. So again, I'm going in with a thumb, this is a different design, just cleansing it again so it's going matte. And then I've done two layers of Dizzy Lizzy again, cured, removed the tacky layer, and now I'm going in with the Magpie Beauty Striper Brush and the white gel paint, just making a little midline. Using a bit of Prep and Dehydrate on the, um, is it the Illustrator brush, I think, just to crisp up that line as well if there's any wobbly bits. Um, so now I'm going in with the Cotton Candy and Jumping for Join Mix again and just making some little blobs down the side. Um, they don't have to be too perfect because you'll see in a minute I'll go in with the Detailer brush and make them into more of a chevron, so more of a point at the end. Um, so I do that for all of them and then I go in between them with Not On My Nelly and again just outline them with the black gel paint as well. And then once they're cured, I'm going down the side with crown jewels again. I wasn't quite sure where this design was going. I know I wanted a midline design, but I wasn't quite sure how it was going to turn out or whether it was going to tie in with the other nails, but I'm actually really happy with how it came out. So again, I'm just going in with the alcohol just to crisp up them lines and then I'm outlining it again in the black gel paint. I just want to as well say a massive thank you to Beth for doing this collaboration video with me. It's been so much fun. Um, it's so nice to you know team up with other nail techs and inspire each other and be creative. I mean I've watched Beth's channel for ages now and if you're not already subscribed go and subscribe to her channel she does such amazing videos. And then just to finish off we're going in again with that matte top coat and curing for 60 seconds. I love how these look after they've been cured. I just love matte glitter. I know it's supposed to be sparkly, but I think it looks so gorgeous when it's matte. And that's the set done. So I hope you like them. Thanks for watching. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Um, and don't forget to go and watch Beth's version of her Disney nails. Her Mickey Mouse nails are so cute. Um, and I love that we picked different films because we didn't really discuss what we were doing we just decided on Disney so I love how different they've both come out and they're both gorgeous so make sure you go and check her channel out give her a subscribe and a like as well thanks for watching bye